Welcome to Weekend Plans, where we show you the best new games, movies, and TV shows to check out this week. Hitting theaters this weekend is the new DC movie Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. Margot Robbie reprises her role from 2017 Suicide Squad as the dastardly DC evildoer Dr. Harleen Quinzel, this time commanding her own team of super anti-heroes. Her cohorts include the likes of Mary Elizabeth Winstead as Huntress and Journey Smollett Bell as Black Canary, and they're going up against none other than the crime lord Black Mask, played by Ewan McGregor. Who's having a good time? Noticeably absent from the new film is Suicide Squad's version of the Joker, played by Jared Leto, who has since parted ways with the DC movie universe, so you can probably guess who it is that Harley has emancipated herself from. DC fans like us have high hopes for Birds of Prey, following hits like Aquaman and Wonder Woman, so fingers crossed that it doesn't disappoint. You are so cool. If you're looking for a movie to watch at home, or when you're snowed in at an isolated hotel, the new Stephen King adaptation, Doctor Sleep, hit Blu-ray this week. The story serves as a sequel to the classic horror tale, The Shining, with Ewan McGregor playing a grown-up version of the telepathic Danny Torrance, who's forced to confront the demons of his past in order to take on a new group of supernatural evildoers. The film was a box office disappointment when it was released in theaters last year, despite good reviews, so Warner Brothers is hoping it will find new life at home. The Blu-ray includes the original theatrical cut plus a new three-hour director's cut. The graphic novel Lock and Key from Stephen King's son, Joe Hill, has its own Netflix adaptation that begins streaming on February 7th. Three siblings return to their ancestral home after the death of their father, only to discover magical keys throughout the house that unlock ghostly apparitions and powers. The comic has been struggling to get a screen adaptation ever since it was first published in 2008, but it didn't get a green light until Netflix came on board and locked it in. Holy crap. The old Resident Evil games are being remade with fancy new camera systems and controls, but if you want that classic survival horror feel, the new game Dawn of Fear is hoping to deliver. It's a survival horror game with a locked third-person camera perspective, just like the classic Resident Evil games, where players navigate a terrifying mansion filled with traps, puzzles, and deadly foes. Hopefully, you don't become a Jill Sandwich. The episodic game Life is Strange 2 has been rolling out for more than a year, but now all five chapters have been bundled alongside other goodies in a new collector's edition that has just landed on consoles and the PC. Extras include vinyl figures, a vinyl record, a not vinyl art book, and the free prologue game The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit. You can get our thoughts on the game and its story by watching the full review on our channel. Ow, 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 ow. Finally, the film industry's biggest award show of the year is happening this Sunday with the 92nd Annual Academy Awards, or the Oscars as the cool kids call it. This will be the second time in the show's history that it will be presented without a host, with each category instead set up by different presenters like Mahershala Ali, Zazie Beetz, and Lin-Manuel Miranda, which means the award ceremony will be far more diverse than the actual MPAA members who vote for the winners and decide the nominees in the first place. Thank you so much. That's it for our first edition of Weekend Plans, but we'll be back next week with more new games, movies, and TV shows for you to check out.